way for our student athletes, uh, Jasmine and also Kira. All right, questions for our student athletes. Uh, Kira, how did this game get away from you guys? You obviously in control and uh, you know slipped away late. What changed? What what happened? Uh, we lost our energy and we stopped playing defense. Yeah, um, definitely defensive. We didn't get any stops here, not nearly as much as we did our first half. Um, also, yeah, going off the defense, um, you guys weren't as efficient offensively. What kind of happened on that end? Um, no. Just uh, energy-wise, like Kiki was saying, um, we stopped attacking and being aggressive, and we were just being too slow and being passive. Yeah, for either of you guys, is that you, you keep talking about the lack of energy. Is that you guys physically being tired, or you just think you got a little bit too comfortable with the lead? Honestly, don't know. I don't think it had anything with us being tired. Just it's a game of runs, and we didn't capitalize on us. Um, same as Kier. They were kind of chipping away at the lead, you know, for the entire second half. Could you guys, you know, did you guys feel the game starting to slip away, or did you feel like you had control the whole time? What was the feeling like as they were, you know, kind of fighting back little by little? Um, I know we never felt like we were losing power of the game. It was just they were making shots and we weren't getting stops or anything, and we also weren't scoring. So, like, obviously you realize that as the game goes on, but you don't really think the power is slipping away. But we weren't doing anything to change it. Kira, anything to add? Yeah, I agree with Jeff. How hard is it for this to be your lasting memory at, at Ohio? It's um, unfortunate. Do about now. Yeah, obviously we don't want to go out like this, but it's too late. We can't. We don't have a time machine or anything. We can't change it. Okay, Kier and uh, Jasmine, we'll let you get back to the locker room. Thank you for joining us, and we'll continue with Coach uh, questions for Coach Bolden. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, Bob, I, I know you had the big lead, and you're trying to run clock. Did did that lead to you guys being not as aggressive and maybe pursuing some early opportunities in the shot clock offensively, you know, in the second half, in the fourth quarter? Uh, do you think that was a factor with you guys losing momentum in the second half? Um, I thought we showed some pretty good patience in the first half as well. You know, I, we made more shots, obviously. Um, you know, 2 of 14 from the floor in the fourth quarter doesn't help your cause, um, as opposed to 8 of 15 in the first quarter. So I don't know that we, we shot the ball any less other than or were less aggressive. I thought we were pretty patient in both halves. Um, and I thought we got the ball where we wanted to, and, and unfortunately those shots didn't go in. Um, yeah, you talk about the shots not going in as much, um, but you have like, you know, you're probably your best offensive outing in that first half. What kind of just, aside from the shots not going in, what kind of just dipped in that second half? I don't think anything other than the shots not going in. I mean, you can look at the percentages, they're pretty clear. And when we ran uh, the same stuff, we got the ball on the same part of the floor. Um, we moved it to the same people in the same spots. And, uh, you know, we tried some things early in the second half I didn't think were real good. And we got away from them and got back to what we were doing in the first half. But, uh, you know, I think we, we obviously didn't make, make enough shots. Uh, I mean, nine points in the fourth quarter is not, not enough to win. Obviously, we'd like to play some form of defense, but we didn't. So you need to score more points if you're not going to guard. Coach, you guys came out so strong, and when you guys were rolling in that first half, what was going through your mind? you feel like you know this is what you had been waiting to see all season? I thought we played a nice first half. You know, it's a long basketball game. You know, 40 minutes is a long time. You know, you've seen you've seen some interesting endings throughout the week in different conferences. And, Obviously, the game before us had an interesting ending, and ours had an interesting ending. It's, it's kind of, it's the excitement of the tournament. It, it's fun when you're on the other side of it. Do you think you got the most out of this team? What, what why don't you know? You expect you had such high expectations at the beginning of the season, and fell short. Uh, yeah, you're right. We fell short. I think that's a good way to put it. 
How difficult is it for you to, to see this, you know, you talk about the senior class on end, just how much they've changed the program. How difficult is it for you to see them, their careers end like this? Yeah, it's, it's frustrating. You know, only one team, I think there's a lot of good teams in our conference this year. And only one of them's going to leave here a oh, champion. And then the rest of us are going to go home losers. And that's hard to swallow. Um, you know, we'll, we'll start preparing and, and we'll certainly miss the senior class. They've done a lot for the program. Um, but we'll start preparing for next year and, and, and try to get better. What did you um, tell your team in the locker room after the loss? I mean, I nothing. <laughs> yeah, guard better. Uh, two things, Bob. This has been a theme throughout this year with your club defensively, right? The periods of good play and the periods like the fourth quarter have, obviously, if you could put your finger on it, I assume you'd fix it. But how do you? How have you tried to deal with it? Why didn't it stick for longer periods of time this year? I wish I knew. You know, I, I thought um, yeah, throughout the season, you know, I have had these same conversations where we've had a really good quarter and then we give up 26 in the quarter. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we just weren't quite good enough to sustain it. And, and maybe it was fatigue, maybe it was a lack of energy, maybe it's, um, you know, a lack of preparation. I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, we've had 30 games to try to figure it out, and, and we never really did that. And that's probably the most frustrating thing for me. For the players who do return next year, what can they learn from? What are you going to try and teach them from an experience like this? I think there's a lot of things you can learn. It's good to be in these games. You know, we were in a lot of close games this year. And, you know, it feels pretty bad right now. But, you know, the play that we made to get the last shot was a good shot. I mean, they made, they made some good plays. And Northern's certainly a good basketball team. And, and there's there's a lot. We'll go over the tape, and, and we'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about this. But there, there's there's a lot to learn from every basketball game played, and every experience can be a good experience if you take the time to learn from it. And we'll try to do just that. Thank you for your time. Yeah.